Today on The Hookup, I'm gonna give you my picks for the best gift ideas under $30 for the maker or tinkerer in your life. Whether you're watching this video to get ideas to put on your own Christmas list or to shop for the maker in your life, it's hard to go wrong with the stuff in this video. These gift ideas are things that I own and I use in my projects and I can personally recommend. There's Amazon links for each of the items in the description down below. Let's talk about some ground rules first. These gifts are going to range from 5 to 30 US dollars. Most makers would love to have a nice 3D printer or CNC machine, but they cost enough money and have enough variety that you probably shouldn't buy one for somebody as a gift unless they give you some very specific information. Let's start out with some tools under $15. Don't worry about whether or not your maker already has one of these tools. In my opinion, these are tools that you can never have enough of. Number one, a mini precision screwdriver set. These kits run you around $12 and they include tons of bits to make sure you always have the right tool for taking apart your electronics. The bits don't fit in standard quarter inch bit holders, which sounds like a bad thing, but it actually helps keep the kit intact because you're not tempted to take the bit out to use with a different tool. Number two, a seven in one screwdriver. I have no less than 30 screwdrivers. I got big ones, small ones, Phillips, flat, universal, but 90% of my projects, I use these multi-purpose screwdrivers. And why do I choose this one over all the others? Easy, it's impossible to lose the bits. There are seven different arms that swing out and each one has a different size Phillips or flathead screwdriver on it. They don't detach, so you always know you have the size that you'll need. Number three, a pocket multimeter. Chances are your maker already has a full-size multimeter or a clamp meter, or maybe both of them like me. But just like my screwdrivers, I find myself using the most convenient tools rather than the tools with the most features. I absolutely love my pocket-size multimeter, and when I'm working on my projects, I always keep it in my pocket so I don't have to go searching for it when I need it. Number four, a pair of Hakko CHP 170 nippers, like this. If you've been using generic nippers for your entire life, you need to experience the difference of a genuine Hacko tool. Oh, and if you don't believe me that these are tools that you can never have enough of, Amazon also sells 10 packs of these things. Number five, a non-rechargeable headlamp, like this. I wear a headlamp when I'm installing wiring, when I'm working in the attic, and even when I'm just soldering projects. I have a rechargeable headlamp that I use sometimes, but usually when I decide that I need a headlamp to keep working, I want to know that it's ready for me right then and there. This one runs off of three AAA batteries and it's plenty bright to get all of your projects finished even after the sun goes down. The next section is fun stuff to build and play with under $30. Again, don't worry if your maker already has this stuff. Having extra stuff just means it's time to do another project. Number one, the ESP8266 based Node MCU. This is my absolute favorite Arduino compatible board, and it has just the right balance of features and ease of use to make it a perfect learning tool for building Wi-Fi based projects. They have a built-in voltage regulator and USB to serial communication, and of course, the ESP8266 Wi-Fi chip. They're about $6.50 each, and for that, you can't find a better value. Number two, a set of WS2812B lights. You don't have to go crazy with this stuff and cover your whole house in LEDs to get use out of WS2812Bs. If nothing else, they're just a great way to learn to code in Arduino. And they give you a lot of instant gratification that keeps you interested in your project. Number three, a Shelly One. The Shelly One is a Wi-Fi relay that's made for tinkerers. You don't even need to open the case to put your own custom firmware on it and start tinkering. A small word of warning on this one. If you click the link and it's in stock, you should go ahead and buy it immediately. These things have been harder to get your hands on than a Tickle Me Elmo in December of 1996. Number four, the Wisecam 1080p camera. These little things cost about $25 and you get a really nice camera for that price. But that's not the reason why you get it. The Wisecam has an open source custom firmware to add all kinds of fun features to it. 
The Wisecam Pan Tilt looks neat, but I can't currently recommend it because mine has been extremely crash prone and buggy. Go ahead and stick with the Wisecam 1080p and you won't be disappointed. Number five, the Amazon Echo Dot second generation. A refurbished Echo Dot is $29 and it will be even cheaper than that on Black Friday. The reason I suggest the second generation Echo Dot over the Google Home Mini or even the third generation Dot is that there's a hack that allows your Arduino devices to emulate a Belkin Wemo or Philips Hue device so that they can be discovered by your Echo Dot locally. Not only does this make it really easy to add voice control to your projects, but it also helps you to minimize the reliance on cloud services, which is something I'd always recommend. And there you go, buy one of them or buy them all, it's up to you. If you're someone special likes to create things, they will love these gifts. If you're buying the gifts for someone else, you should tell them to check out the hookup on YouTube for some fun and useful project ideas. If you're here looking for gifts for your own list, you should watch some of my other videos. If you enjoy them, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching the hookup. Thank you.